Um, yeah, I guess we're live. Hello, Dalton. Thank you for joining me today. Hey, no problem. <laughs> and making sure that I'm not breaking yet another board. Um, yeah. Uh, uh, can you show me what you see? Um, oh, uh, oh, sh sorry. I forgot to share my, share my screen again. Um, I, I've completely spaced it. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, there we go. Um, wait, uh -huh. and now I have to yes. put... Okay, yeah, that works. Okay. Um, maybe to recap a bit, uh, we try, or I tried this two weeks ago um, with... I don't even know. I don't even know which one it was. Um, with one of these Game Boys, and I broke a board, exactly this one. And um, Dalton sent me shopping to to buck what was wrong. Uh, what did you get? What did you ask me to get? Uh, you got a multimeter, right? Some isopropyl alcohol, and I think that was it. Yeah, pretty much. And a toothbrush. And a yeah. toothbrush. Well, I had that one. Um, do you still want to to get this board when we are allowed to see each other again? To, yes, to make sure I want to know it. what's wrong with it. Okay. I want to know why it broke. Well, we, we thought that maybe this... Oh, wait, I have to manually focus this camera. Uh, there we go. We thought that it was maybe the soldering point, but it wasn't that bad. And we tried to debug and, and, and check which points are wrong. And um, what, what did we do wrong by doing that? Um, we checked voltage across the positive battery terminal and ground points on the board. <laughs> right. Well, any point on the board. And all of the board is grounded when the switch is off. Yes. So that that doesn't work. No, it doesn't. Of course, there's three volts across that. So um, we should maybe maybe let's before we're gonna get into what we are exactly everything that we're putting in here today. We can maybe just start by cleaning the donor board that we're using this time beforehand. <laughs> Um, That's a good idea. Yeah. Do you still have like the link to the to the uh, sheet with all the um, for, for the electronic board? I do. Last time? Okay. So then we can check if something is wrong. Um, I actually have to wait. I, oh, right. This is the this is the nasty donor one that I really don't want to touch for much longer. And that's the one that is good. Um, it's, it's really nasty. <laughs> it's awful. Okay. Um, let me check if we are. Oh, I should maybe tweet that we are live. Um, <laughs> nah. <laughs> Who cares? Okay, um, one sec. I have to, because I'm, I'm, I'm capturing the window and I don't want to share anything sensitive. That's fine. Okay, um, hit More enter. Um, yeah, that might be the solution actually. Okay. Mm, I should, I'm not logged in into Twitter. Huh, that might be an issue. Okay, anyway, okay, we're doing this now. Um, so, first step, find the driving screwdriver. Um, I had to uh, purchase this extra set because I had no one hanging around. Um, which comes with all the other crap that I don't need. Uh, I think it's this one. So, uh, you've been also doing some modding on your Game Boys and, and uh, other consoles. Do, can, can you elaborate on that a bit? Yeah. Oh no, it fell asleep. Oh. There we go. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> oh. And now it fell over. It's broken. Great, it's no, a do. <laughs> now we get to fix another one on. Yeah, I was about to say. Yeah, yeah more content. <laughs> so uh, we've got. I need to be careful while I take this now. Yeah. We've got the Nintendo Blue Boy. Ooh. Uh, I don't know if you can actually say that. Maybe not. Uh, hmm. <laughs> don't worry about it. <laughs> uh. And we're back. <laughs> Hi, sorry. Um, no, I have stream offline. No, it, it was it was totally my fault because I had to switch uh, to to set on my light properly <laughs> and had to get back into Wi-Fi and I'm streaming off my phone. One second. Um, okay, we're going to be offline for a little bit in a second, uh, and then we will. And and we're back. Okay, that took longer than usual. I'm really sorry about that. Can you confirm that we're oh. Hello? Done? This is going great. One sec. Okay. Done. Okay. Yeah. I, I hear you. That's better. Okay. I'm sharing my screen again. One sec. Okay. <laughs> this took longer than usual. Um, Computers, man. Yeah. Don't get into it. Don't choose a career. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> I think we're back. Can you confirm that the YouTube stream is back up? Yeah. Looks okay. like it. Okay. So then let's just continue. Um, so you were about to demo all the stuff that you've modded and uh, do a data flaying on your shelf over there. 
yeah, so, um, where did we stop? Anyway, uh, the, Nintendo Game yeah. Boy Blue Edition. Blue Edition. Let's call it that. With uh, Pokemon Blue, appropriately. Yeah. Uh, plays correctly. The screen is backlit. It's inverted, so it's very clear. Ooh. It's just uh, really nice to use. I wonder if I can get into a battle, and then it'll show a little better. Uh, we have a repaired Game Boy Pocket, which I'm afraid to take the screen Oh, all these have like glass yeah. screens on them now, so it's very difficult to show them uh, in a webcam. It really doesn't like that. Um, um, actually, while taking this one apart, should we verify that this one's actually working? <laughs> that'd be a good idea. Hang on, I have a game somewhere. There we go. Um. Ah, an excellent choice. Yes. <laughs> but let's, let's go with the theme of the stream. Okay. Um, oh, it even came with batteries. Interesting. And it came with free clothes that I threw away <laughs> for packaging. I don't know if you saw that on the chat. Okay, that looks fine. There's audio. That's a good noise. Um, oh, wait, maybe I should stop it the music good. on the last stream for that. I, I want to check if the speaker is working correctly. Um, that sounds about right. Yep, okay. Continue. Man, I played that game so much. Yep. Not that one, but Emerald. So that um, that intro is really nostalgic. Yes. <laughs> so it's the restored pocket. I have a Game Boy Color. The screen is currently sitting in the window over there. Mm -hmm. um, there's a front light curing on the front of it. So with luck, I will have a front light Game Boy Color. And that will be cool. Ooh. Um, have you ever tried modding the Game Boy? Right now. Hmm? Have you ever tried modding the Advance SP? I do have an SP, but I don't think I'll be able to fix it. It is the AGS 101, which oh. is the one that everyone wants. Yes. But it's got a screen problem. Oh no. And that's not fixable. How did so. you do that? Hmm? How did you do that? Did you break it, or did you bought it used? No, this was my Game Boy. Oh. So, you did break just it. over the years it got <laughs> broken. Okay. Actually, I don't think I'm the one who broke it. I'm pretty sure it was either my brother or my dad. It's just always your brother, yeah. Um, well, yeah. <laughs> I had an AGS-001 that he dropped and broke the front light on. Mm. So I got this one, and then now this one's broken as well. So. Okay. But it can still scare you when uh, you're trying to test if it's working, and I can do this. <laughs> that was always fun. Yeah. I think I've sold my original Game Boy Advance. Yes, both of them actually. I, I no, I didn't sell. I didn't sell them. I gave them to my cousins, and I think they sold them by now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, they're not having it. I'm sure you only had the. Zero zero ones though. Yes. Like the frontlet versions. Yes. Wait. Yeah. Frontlet versions? Yeah, there was the AGS of the Game Boy Advance SP. There was the AGS. Oh no no no! I, I was talking about my, my Advance, not the Advance SP. I never had one of those because I only uh, had the Advance and none of them were backlit. Um, I have to check this if I can be. mute my Mac for a second. Uh, that should do it. Um. So, oh right, um, there's this one Philip says crew, and there are uh, all, uh, only driving screws. Um, think you've got to have a Philip says yes, screwdriver. Yes, this there. one. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Yep, that is looking good. Um, let's get rid of all the stuff that we don't intend to keep. So. Is there any market for, for used Game Boy Advance parts? <laughs> Should I try to sell this on eBay? Sort of. Is I mean, there? Yeah, because people are looking for them for one uh, mods that they... Oh, yeah, I up. guess. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> okay. Let me show it to the close-up cam. This one doesn't look too bad. No. No blown capacitor. Especially it doesn't have any corrosion on it, which oh, is really well, all we that, want. That's, that's kind of an issue up there. By the connector. No, that's probably just the soldering flux they use. Okay. It's probably alright. 
Yeah, it could be red. Maybe as long we'll as you don't have any like um, blue or green specs, it's all right. Yeah, not really. I think that's okay. Front looks fine as well. Um, we're gonna go get rid of the speaker anyway. So, ooh, oh, somebody sold it on you already. Um, do you see that? How can you tell? Oh, it looks different from the other. <laughs> Well, it does kind of. It. Hmm. I think that was the cheap one. Maybe something is something is wrong. Well, we'll find out. We have we have enough other boards if something goes wrong. Okay. Um. Should I just rip off the? No, I'm gonna do that later with the soldering iron. Okay. Let's start by cleaning up the board. Um. Yes. Okay. I think I've. So given you have seventy percent IPA, it actually won't dry very quickly. I know. That's so why I have the fan over you know. here. So. Ah. Yep. Hey, I did this, I did this last uh, two weeks ago already. I, I know what I'm doing. Except I'm breaking stuff. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so, oh, right. While we're, while we're here, let me really quick tweet this live stream. Good idea. Yep. And fix the focus. Are you still active on Twitter? Do you want to retweet this? Yeah. Sort of. I couldn't find Universal Superbox this time. I know you you missed some uh, you character. You have to use it without E's. Oh, without the E. Okay. I wasn't sure. Because Universal Superbox is too long. Yeah. Just disappointing. Yeah. <laughs> Compose tweet. Um. How do I make the PSP not ah backlight auto off none. Dos, there we go. Wait, I can play Game Boy games. <laughs> okay, let's retweet this. I think I've mentioned the right account this time. Okay. There. All right. Um, how long you? How long do you reckon this will take to dry off in front of a fan? Um, I don't have a video feed anymore. So. Oh. Um, and it looks like the screen might be dropping frames. Um, so how's your connection doing? It's. It should be fine now. Hang on. Let me check the dashboard. Um. No, we're good. This should be alright. Um, and we are definitely, we are still having video. Yeah, definitely. Um, mm -hmm. should I try uh, restarting the screen share on, on uh, Verabai? No, it, at this point it might just be WebRTC dropping some stuff. It looks like the stream is okay now. Okay, me. fine. So you're just gonna follow the, the live stream then and not the, the video chat? No, this is, it came back. No. Okay, fine. We're good. We got right. this. We'll be fine. Yes. We have technology, except when it doesn't work. Um, uh, you guys are still using WebRTC for your weekly hangouts, right? Sort of. We have uh, StreamYard, which is WebRTC, but it also is a lot of other stuff on top of it. Okay. Which is really nice. And I'm really enjoying using it. Would you mind sending me a link With to Chrome, that? Chrome, you is can like, do more than one camera. Is it like a paid service? Or what is it? It's like an alternative to OBS. Ooh. Oh, I, I think I've heard of this. Um, because we're still looking and into it's not Lightstream. Lightstream is garbage. Yeah, <laughs> we we tried that once for our for our uh, podcast uh, broadcast. Um, but uh, yeah, it, it just dropped out after like twenty minutes, I think. Um, mm -hmm. we're still looking for a better solution than Skype for live streaming our podcast recordings without too much overhead, because it's like just like meant as a live chat and a bootleg feed and not really as the full edited show. And our usual setup is that we record everything in TeamSpeak and we had to like convert that workflow over to YouTube, which is uh, not ideal. Uh, yeah. Yeah. No, I really like StreamYard because it can do multiple destinations at once. Ooh. I think. So like, right like Twitch, YouTube. Yeah, it can multi-stream. Cool. Or just an RTSP stream. Th do you mind sending me the link to that again? I you got it. I might have to take another look at it. 
So. I think I'm paying 25 bucks a month. Mm hmm. And. Well, that's reasonable, uh, assuming it works. It's really. It's pretty nice. <laughs> and, like, I can run it off of just. Uh, my XPS 13. It doesn't scream at all. Right, because it's, it's only sharing like your side, and the others have like. Is there like a client software for that, or how are the, how are the other guys connecting to it? No, it's all in the web. It's They're all using web. WebGL okay. to do really quick. Oh, rendering. okay. Yeah, yeah, that, that makes sense. Then there's not much overhead on your side. Mm. That's great. I don't even know if I want to tell you that. Uh, we are, we are, when we're doing our live stream for the podcast, we have like two audio main sources, uh, the, the, or like two machines for that. Um, my Mac is running like TeamSpeak, and that's uh, where we do the audio recording. And then it's like the, the Windows machine, which is uh, joining the TeamSpeak server with, an, se with a separate client while being on the same network. And uh, yeah broadcasting the, the system uh, the, the system audio for that um, because we really uh, like our presets that we have in TeamSpeak with like uh, noise gate and, and, and noise reduction and stuff so we want to have that for the live stream and I only have to pipe like one audio source into the stream instead of like three for Skype and stuff so and there's like auto leveling which makes it really yeah, convenient something. yeah but it's, it's like bad because if one of my machines decides hey I'm not having a network connection right now there's no audio which mm, isn't ideal for point. a podcast yeah yeah, so I we really have to change the way we're doing this. Okay, this looks about right. You were... Oh, wait, no. Uh, that was on the other side. Okay, um, I think you didn't answer my question. Uh, how long do you reckon this will take to dry off uh, in front of a, of, of a fan? It, it should still blot it out with paper towel or whatever. Yeah, sure, sure. Okay. If you had higher percentage IPA, it, well, it would be faster. Yeah, but, I know, but I yeah. didn't want to go shopping again. <laughs> yeah, I, and there's a thing yeah. happening now, so it's yeah. difficult to get it. I kind of have to go shopping after this anyway. Well, hopefully mm. we don't have to repeat this next week. <laughs> <laughs> we would have to kill More two games. birds, and that's less soldering, because we, I managed to, to break some of the display uh, ribbon cable <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> By doing a mm -hmm. prefit for the live stream, so there's less soldering involved now, but it's still gonna work somehow. And Retro yeah. 6 is not gonna ship me uh, just the cable, they want to also sell me the, the display again. But I'm not I'm paying oh. another 70 bucks for this. This was okay. already way too expensive for what I'm doing here. Okay, um, let's find out how the. Um, how the connector port, if there's actually flux or if there's anything broken with it. Okay. I um, I can't see the chat, so if you're still monitoring YouTube, maybe you can tell if there are any. Like, they're probably like confused Germans wondering whether we're talking in English. No, it's uh, pretty quiet at the moment. Okay. All right. Hi everyone. Hi. <laughs> Say hello. Okay. Yeah. This, this it was flux. It's fine. Yeah. Great. Nintendo likes to use that like yeah. really yellow flux that they don't yeah. have to clean off. And I'm using like the worst solder that you can get. But which one should I get for for this tiny stuff that I'm soldering on? I would use leaded solder, mm -hmm. which although you need to take precautions, and if you're going to resell it, I think you need to say that like, it's leaded solder. Yeah. It. Um, but it's just it melts at a lower temperature, so it's much easier to use. Yeah. And not as bad for ribbon cables, um, which I think it's. I shouldn't try to solder anything to it anymore. Let's let's just hope it keeps working for no. now. Um, the the audio chip is a mess. It's like it's like even smaller than, than like my fingernail, uh, and it's it's really hard to solder. I have to add like six cables <laughs> to that chip, and I, I hot glued the whole. I, I will show you in this. Oh wait, I think I showed you yesterday. Yeah, you didn't show me the hot glue. Um, yeah, that's another story in itself. Um, after I drowned in the hot glue, I figured out, oh, I still have to fit it in there somehow. Um, so I took the soldering iron, took a different tip that I don't need anymore, and, and shrinked it down <laughs> by using heat. So it's fine. And I ah, definitely don't have to... Fine. Yeah, I definitely don't have to uh, to glue in the, the speaker anymore because it can't go anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's fine. Yes, let's call it fine. Okay, I think this is good. Um, let's dry this off. Oh. Uh, Sorry, stream. 
Let's look. Uh, I think you can see it. Oh, you can kind of can see it. Yeah. Um, should I use? Well, I, I still have like my hairdryer over in the bathroom. I can, I can give uh, that. Uh, no. I, I, I don't have to put it on like the, the, the hot setting. Yeah, no heat would be fine. Yeah, but I kind of want to be a. Uh, because that's like not really powerful. <laughs> the fan over there. Um, well, let's try this for now. Okay, um, you've, you've mentioned to me that you have another broken DS. Another broken DS? Um, oh, what was it? I, I have it a 3DS. 3DS, yeah. That I replaced the bottom base on because it. Where the hinge goes into the cover snapped, so the hinge wouldn't stay anymore. I replaced the bottom cover and it still won't boot, so there's an issue with the oh. ribbon cable going from the screen down, unfortunately. And unlike the DS Lite, uh, yes, I have one of those at this desk too. <laughs> <laughs> it's a wonder I get anything done. I, I remember um, when I was like the yeah. DS Lite. Ooh, oh, um, that's the old one. Yeah, the 3DS won't boot if the top screen isn't working. Oh. Wait, I, I saw people converting like uh, broken Nintendo DSs to to like Game Boy Advance basically by ju by just taking uh, off the upper screen. Um, how is yes. how they how they booting that then? If there's like a check uh, running for it, or yeah, what's broken there? You can make it automatically boot into whatever software is in it. But oh, you just can't do that on the 3DS. Okay. That S DS Lite is working fine, except for the volume knob, which I need to clean. I see a PlayStation running Minecraft right now. <laughs> kind of looks mm -hmm. like it. Hello? No, it's still playing Mario oh. 64. Okay. Alright. Um, I will first turn off this fan, and then I will uh, go to the bathroom and use the head around this for like 10 seconds. And then I think we can All continue. Right. I'll be right back. Sure. So other things that I have around here are um, a Nintendo Wiimote, which has been taken apart. This one actually had corrosion in the battery compartment. So I don't know if it'll work again ever. And right now I have the one of the terminals in vinegar currently soaking and getting cleaned up. You can see that that vinegar isn't looking too clean, but yeah. <laughs> It's not an evil science project, it's just a battery terminal. What are you doing? I'm showing my uh, battery contact that's oh. in vinegar to your audience. Okay, great. So we gotta fix up, we gotta fix up this Wii remote. Oh! <laughs> Is that, wait, no, you, that's... What's the, the one that you had that broke, or did you got that on eBay? So, I got a Wii for $10 on eBay. Yes. <laughs> it was actually $25 for shipping, and it came... It came with the Wii, which um, the top facade is missing. This is supposed oh. to be a uh, black facade over this. Yeah. It's in... It was in the box, but it was taken off by the previous owner. Oh, okay. And a couple of the screw holes are uncovered. But not all of them are, so I don't think that the person actually started taking it apart. Okay. They tried and then they gave, gave up, or what did they do? I hope so. Okay. Because things would be worse if they actually tried to take it apart. <laughs> Every once in a while you were, you, you were messaging me like, with like, Hey, I got, an, I got a broken V and I was like, oh no, what did you do this time? No, I want to repair it. <laughs> no, I bought it broken. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, we should probably take it in the new casing. Wait. Um, yeah, let's, let's show what they're gonna do there. I put everything in the back. Uh, is this on? Uh, one moment, I'll be right back. Sure.
anscheinend... Was ist denn jetzt hier? Dorten? Welcome back. Hey. Dorten, would you mind checking like the I live stream? Because I'm expecting more stuff. Okay. Uh, would you mind checking the, the live stream audio for a second if this is using the correct microphone? Because there should be a, a noise gate on it and I think it isn't. Sounds like it. But it is using the right one. Sounds like it. Yeah. Okay, fine. Uh, let's not worry about it then. Okay. Um, so, I took apart the new casing. And... Because I think it's easier to work with if we already put it in there. Um, yeah, uh, oh, right, I wanted to show you the the hot glued uh, audio chip. Um, oh, wow. Well, the thing is there, like, uh, I don't really know if you can tell, it was really hard to, to get all the cables and the, the ports in there. And um, But I think that's fine. I, I did like a test fit and it should be okay. Okay, um, so let's start by removing the old speaker, I guess. Um, or there's the soldering iron. Hmm. Hang on. Oh man. Did I put my expert block all the way? Gosh darn. <laughs> What's in the magical box? Um, well, what's missing is the the really bad stand for the soldering iron. I kind of need if I don't want to set my room on fire. I mean, at least we would have it on video. Just stand it on the uh, broken Game Boy. Give me uh, more of a challenge. I had it yesterday. Let's go. Oh, I don't really see an alternative there. Okay. Uh, oh no, I, I found it. I already, I already put oh. it in the place where it's supposed to go. But then I forgot I put it there. <laughs> okay. So this should be okay. Okay, um, wait, actually I have to, hmm, I have to solder to this side, okay, fine, let's take off the speaker then, uh, let's see if this is already, nope, not even close, um, <coughs> Wii battery, my Wii remote battery terminals are nice and clean now. Ooh, that looks nice. With luck, I it's going to Remote in focus, why we're going to believe, we're going to believe you. Um, yeah. Okay, no, we're ready. Uh, how can I do this without covering it for the live stream? There we go. Okay, one, two. Don't burn yourself. Um, I did this last time. Burnt yourself? Yes. And I only noticed that um, you can't even really, I think you can't even really turn on camera anymore. No, you can't. Okay, never mind. Um, I didn't even notice it by doing it. And I was like, oh yeah, that looks like a bone wound. <laughs> Owie. Yeah. Wonder what happened there. Oh, okay. Um, right. luck. I think I've With put With luck, I'm going to put in these batteries and this Wii remote's going to boot. Ooh. Um, nope. No. <laughs> I, I'm gonna forward you the image um, that I used last time to solder the audio chip, and you can check okay. that I'm not messing up. Um, Alright. 
assuming I can find it. Um, that looks like it. Yes. Forward to Dalton. There you go. Oh wow. Yes. <laughs> Do you feel There's my pain going now? On there. Yes. It is, it's like a tiny. Wait, hang on. Do I have any? Right. I, I'm just going to put a screw on top of it just for you to tell. That's how. How. Oh. Maybe the camera also. That's that's how big this chip is. It has like eight or six or eight ca cables on it. That didn't came pre-applied. Um, okay, that should work. Okay. Um, so the first Some one goes to did not kick in. On hmm? That one, but it's all right. What didn't kick in? Your compressor didn't kick in for a little bit there. Oh, I'm sorry. But now it's back. Uh, can kind of move my microphone around ah, without covering stuff up. Okay, that's about as good as I can do. Um, okay. So, um, the first wire goes to solder on point four, is that correct? The tiny one. Hmm? Okay, let's do that then. Oh, wait, I have to put this. Yeah, you're right. Most one, the one closest to the speaker goes yes. to four. Okay. Okay, um, the second one according to the position goes to three, I guess. No. Oh, no, it goes to five, right? No, it hmm. goes over to a test point up at the top. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm really sorry. Yes, no, I, I was talking about the other short one. Um, can you tell me if the other short one goes to three or to four? Uh, to three or to five? The one on the left of the chip goes to five. I'm gonna look at the picture myself. Then. Farthest away <laughs> from the speaker. Yes. Five. Oh yeah, sorry, it's it's the wrong orientation. <laughs> That's confusing then. Um, yes. Okay. Fine. 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 <clears throat> okay. This is okay. The 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 really annoying part of uh, about soldering on this tiny chip was yesterday when I did like the cables uh, so that I don't have to mess up that on live stream again. Um, Every time I had like three of them connected, uh, uh, one fell off, and uh, it no. kept happening. Yeah, I, I, I spent like forty-five minutes soldering on this thing. And I was like, "Oh wow, this chip has to be burned." Do you remember the, the, the was a picture of the of the first chip that I that I sent you, where I, like actually mm -hmm. like, moved or uh, removed the capacitor that was on there, or whatever Ooh. it was? Yeah. Yeesh. No, but it yeah, should be fine gonna, this time. It's difficult to get those things back on. Okay, um, the second cable goes to. FL2 or SP? I'm, I'm not neither. talking. I'm not talking about the one that goes to to the cartridge port to, to the ground. I'm talking about. Oh well, I should have sent it to the picture in, in another orientation. One second. The second closest to the speaker goes yes. up to a test point near the t uh, right of the board, but it's not FL2 or SP. It's the right of SP. Right. No, that's 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 one of the of the uh, uh, soldering points of the speaker where it was previously. It, and it's the upper one uh, from my orientation. Makes okay. Sense. <laughs> Hope so. Um, can we? We could test this uh, without adding the screen first, right? If just to check if we have audio. It should boot mm -hmm. with, without the without the uh, without the display. Yes, it will. Okay. Um, okay. I'm getting a little concerned that this Wii remote is never going to work again. How much is a new one? Can you can you even get like aftermarket parts for it anymore? Sort of. I mean, it would really this whole purchase would have been worth it if the Wii remote worked. Okay. $25 for a Wii remote is pretty good, I even see. if it is like the first gen. But if even that doesn't work, and the Wii itself only plays GameCube games, it won't play Wii games, so it either needs a new laser, or the disk drive needs to be aligned. I, I don't see an issue with, with a new, more modern Nintendo GameCube. <laughs> yeah, right? Um, I even still got the game that you didn't want to play. Oh, wait. The okay. Yeah. I don't know if the GameCube is region locked. I don't know if I could play that. Um, I think it only was for Japan. I don't think it was for the US. 
That would make sense. Okay. Um, the one that's going to the cartridge board is going on SL, no, on S1, correct? Correct. Ground, okay. <clears throat> this should be fine, but I, oh, I definitely have to move the chip. Oh, oh, let's hope I don't break off any cable. Yep, that's okay then. Oh, wow. <laughs> I thought I had the iron on the lowest setting, and it turns out I had it on the highest one. Um, I fixed Gotta that. go fast. Yeah. Okay. Um, let me stop the music and check if we actually have working sound here. Um, that means I have to add the clean amp. Oh, no, the... Uh, what's the power one called again? Clean power. Clean power, yes. Um... And hmm. Oh, it's it's turning right off. Hang on. Um let me try the the old one with the working batteries. That would suck if you already broke one board. We haven't. Okay, it's, it's, hmm. But there's no sound. Hang on. Um, which orientation does it go? Up to the right. Hmm. Okay, there should be sound here. You've got lights? Yes. Okay. So, it's not broken, but we don't have sound. Um, but, you know what, Let, let's uh, add the screen and, and check if what's going on there. And then maybe resolder the audio chip. Okay, so oh, let me turn back on the music. There. That's good. And then I can't see the ones that are on the, those points yet. Uh, where are you looking? Oh, wait, hang on, I can show it to you in close-up. Um, I mean... Oh, yeah, that, that might be the one. Um, it's not even in focus. They all look fine to me. Um, let's find out what's going on here. No. And there are still the LEDs, so I didn't forget to dry anything off, so That's that should be fine. Yeah. Yeah. Let's find out if we got an image. Alright, it, it could be that I managed to, to break the sorting points on the speaker. Uh, wait, that's not, that's not correct. <laughs> uh, what am I doing? So it's not a focus. Take up. That looks better. Okay, so. So okay, we got image, but we got no sound. All right. Um, this is something. At this point, I'm just gonna put in the Game Boy game because then we have continuously music without rebooting it all the time. Uh, where did I put it? I think it's already back in the box. <laughs> One second. Still on the Game Boys? Alright. Uh, eh. Let's 
controller is still not booting this <laughs> So, I'm going to turn off the music again, so that we can hear stuff. Okay. Hey, Florian. Oh, Flohack? Oh, which one? Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, Florian. Okay. So, this should output music, which it doesn't. Um... Can you send me a picture of your, uh board over there? Sure. It would be easier to see. Um. Yep. See what we got. Yep. So Wait. compared to this what you should sent be, oh. me. Hang on. Oh, okay. First, just wide screening down. That is the full one. That should be fine. That is the top speaker contact. Good. Yeah. It looks fine to me. Let, let me let me uh, reassemble this. One second. Um. Just S one. One two. Okay. And that goes to point five. These two are looking fine to me. Let's let's make sure I haven't messed up the cable there. No, this is not outputting anything. Hang on. Let me take a look at the picture myself. Uh -huh. Yep. Uh, no, Florian. The Game Boy Advance does not have voice over LTE capabilities. <laughs> Would you touch when? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, looks fine to me. From it. Okay. Um, hmm. I'm going to take all of it off, check the soldering points, and then I'm going to go again. Um... Okay. So first, let's check the connecting point where the speaker previously was. Let's turn this off for now. I'm very sorry about the fan noise, but it's getting too hot in here, so I should turn it on. Um, I think your noise canceller is working all right. That's uh, whereabouts. I'm pretty sure it is on Verabai and not on OBS. Oh, okay. Hmm. I'm very confused because I had this working, not on this board, but I mean we still have another board. If, if mm, I'm, at this point, I think it's 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 the audio chip to blame and not the GBA board just yet. Um. So let's put this up into game music. How much work? Oh wait, <laughs> if I put a cartridge in, that will actually be a game loading. Um, how much work would it be to port some of the Ubuntu Touch stuff to the Game Boy? <laughs> Do we even know what, what CPU is running? <laughs> Do we know the, the feature set? The the Game Boy CPU mm -hmm. doesn't run Linux. <laughs> well, it just doesn't. Okay. <laughs> So, ooh, um, there is a chance that I broke. S hmm. Oh, removing the hot load. I this mean, one try to put the original suck. speaker back on. Yes, that's what I'm trying next. Exactly. That's fine. Then there's audio. Sweet. So, um, hang on. Um, wait, no, that won't work. There, there's a chance that I that I managed to mess up the connection um, where the speaker cables join the board uh, on the on the audio okay. chip. 
but it's gonna suck if I have to remove the hot glue on this one. Um, mm -hmm. So let's let's just try by by manually setting it in place. If that's gonna help, if that's maybe just something shorting out there. Um, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Hmm. Okay. Um, ooh, how am I gonna do this? Okay. I have to remove uh, the tip of that soldering iron and uh, to, uh, and put on the one that I can use to remove hot glue. And then I will resolder the uh, speaker onto the chip. I'm pretty sure that's okay. that because there's so much hot glue on all the other cables, I don't think anything could move there. Um, and there's Pierre, no I don't bridging know there. Of hmm? any I don't know of any Nintendo devices that run BSD. Uh, actually, the Switch may. Yes. But everything I'm, before I, that is a custom OS. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's running some part of, of, of BSD because uh, do you remember the, oh, what was it called? The one where you, where you could uh, like kind of jailbreak it and, and get it to boot Android. Um, uh, yeah, the, the Switch is an amalgamation of a diff bunch of different operating systems. Yeah. So it's an NVIDIA Tegra. But it's running, I believe, a customized BSD that uses Android drivers. <laughs> I love how this took using like Android Surface Flinger and the Tegra drivers. I love how it took like forty-five minutes until we got to the typical Linux topics again. <laughs> okay. No, we'll we'll try not. No, it's, um, it's fine. I, enjoy, this, I mean, the PSP yeah. here is running a customized BSD, uh, and a lot of the Sony consoles do as well. Right. Do you remember when I said this should probably only take like half an hour? Uh, yeah. <laughs> what are your plans for tonight? <laughs> when do we have to be done here? <laughs> right. Okay. So there's no Q&A session tonight? No, it's tomorrow. Okay, good. Everyone, you can join me on the Ubuntu Touch Q&A at yes, the Ubiports th yes. tomorrow. Let's, let's do the, the, the sponsor spot for Ubiports then. <laughs> Not I take your money. <laughs> I'm sure you would. <laughs> I did in the past. It's not like you did. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah, for for some video project. Uh, yeah. Okay. Oh. Ah, this one's still hot. <laughs> Please excuse my beeping. <laughs> what are you trying to fix now? Is there the remote? Yeah, I'm trying to fix the remote. I'm trying to see where the problem is. Okay. It goes up to an overload. So that capacitor's all right. Florian says, Marius could help with a few instructional videos, maybe. My typing is a mess. <laughs> Wait, what? Am I, is this saying that I'm supposed to do instruction videos or that I should watch them? Because both would be true. I think he's referring to Ubuntu Touch. Oh. Um, I did that a few times for Magic Device for back when that was still a thing. Yeah. Yep. I did like the videos about how to flash on the uh, how to flash Ubuntu Touch on the Fairphone and stuff because it was still more complicated than on all the others because it's a Fairphone. Mm -hmm. um, not sure how much you want to go into that. Okay, this is a mess. Uh, I hate this. Yeah. There is a chance that we have to resolder the original speaker on this. Because yeah. it's gonna be really it's ugly. Right. I'm I'm gonna try. Hang on. I mean, it's it's it would be only the direct of the third audio chip that I ordered from them. So does that have a knife tip on it? Yes, that's the one that I don't care about. That's why I'm using it to remove hot glue. Oh okay. Yes. Okay, this is fine. Don't worry about it. Okay. I think I managed to remove most of it without breaking anything that's on the ship. Um, yeah, actually, that looks good. Okay. 
Um, no, let's me, let me tr try to remove the, the extra sodium. Oh no, it's Florian sticking. just spammed this thing in the UB ports chat. Uh oh. Florian, that's off topic. <laughs> We're gonna be banned for that. <laughs> We're gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> ban you. <laughs> okay. You probably meant to post an overflow. Yeah, that's off topic fine. channel. Do you have an overflow for the off topic channel? <laughs> Is it that popular? New off topic channel. New off topic, okay. Um, all right. This is awful. Okay, let's let's check if that speaker is still working before we continue here. Okay. Um, yeah, I definitely gonna <laughs> have to isolate the cables again. Doing. Not hot. Uh, thirty-six percent. Is it playing two hours? Is it All playing right, a video hours. or? No, it's playing Mario sixty-four. Oh, actually, it actually is. Oh, okay. I, I can actually play this. Oh, okay. Uh, it's real. Cool. Okay. Um, let's check the speaker. I'm pretty sure I. I destroyed the chip there, but we're gonna find out soon. Um, okay. I can switch it to Majora's Mask if you want. <laughs> no, it's fine. Ooh. Oh no. Oh no! It is... Okay, there is sound. Okay. I was saying I thought... That, I, that it was actually the chip and that we didn't have to remove the, <laughs> the speaker. Um, nope, the speaker is definitely fine. Okay, that's that's the, now we get to the part that I try to not have to do on stream again. <laughs> Soldering stuff to the other chip. Um, the speaker that came with it, I think, is a 2 ohm speaker, hmm. 1 ohm speaker, um, whereas the original is half ohm, so it would make sense that it's a lot quieter. Even yeah. The original. Yep, yep, yep. Actually, we can check that. Um, yeah, definitely. That one's louder. Yeah, because I can actually hear that, and I can't. Oh, the okay. <laughs> That's the compression there. Um, I mean, hmm. the contacts do look fine, but uh, let me see if I can focus this there. Um, they look fine, the contacts there, but they're actually still covered in hot glue. Yeah. That's going to be a pain in the ass to remove. Anyway, we can check if they're conductive. No, hang on. Um, let's see. Pierre says, I'm just realizing, Mario's got himself some serious gear to work on this project. Um, well, <laughs> as usual, it started with me, hey, I want a Game Boy. <laughs> and then I went, oh, there are other parts for it. And then I ordered all of them. And then I destroyed some of them, then to reorder them. Yeah, as usual. Florian says, use a lighter to, to take the hot glue off. Um, I think this is actually more effective. <laughs> um, okay, I think... And I should probably take this off before the battery runs out. I can re-solder the... Oh, this wow, this sucks. It's not. I really don't want to do this on stream again. <laughs> uh, okay. Mm. Let's turn the music back on. <laughs> I could... Leave it like out of focus like it is right now. No, yeah. that's not a good idea. Yeah, I'm on it. There we go. Okay. Um, I have nowhere to put this right now, which is an issue. Uh, okay, let's switch. Soldering iron tips again. And yes, I'm using the appropriate tool to do that. Hooray. Except I'm not. Oh wait, no you're not. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Look back at stream and what is this? Yeah. <laughs> uh, 
that's the one we used before. Oh wow, that one's pretty much done. <laughs> this was like the cheapest story iron kit that I uh, found on Amazon. Ah, uh, I'd and recommend the TS100 soldering. Well, I didn't uh, I, I thought um, Pine64 released one, which ha one that has like an arm chip in it. Uh, it was gonna be Risk Five. Oh. And I'm not. I don't know what's going on with it right now. Okay. Um. We'll see. Let's get the obvious question out of the way. Why would they do that? Uh, and are they gonna upgrade school. and put more RAM into it, like on the Pine Phone? <laughs> more. Well, you gotta play Tetris on your soldering iron. Yes. That I mean, is that a thing make you can it kind of cool. Yeah. You can do that. The TS100. I'm plays sure you Tetris. can. Okay. Lauren says, how many watts is your soldering iron? Uh, <laughs> the printing bread off, I've got no idea. <laughs> it's no longer on there. Not nearly Some. enough. <laughs> uh, it, apparently it can go up to 450 uh, degrees Celsius, which I don't believe, to be honest. I doubt it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, hmm. I should probably hot glue this into place. But it won't move while I'm trying to solder to it. Oh. Yep, that's not doing anything. Okay. I just realized it's only playing Majora's Mask really laggy. <laughs> like, it is playing. It's playing at... It says 15 frames a second. I don't believe it. No. <laughs> Um, pro tip for everyone at home trying this, if you turn on your soldering iron, it actually hits up. Yeah. Yeah. I don't... I think it's lying to me about the frame rate. <laughs> so, according to chat, we have to get that soldering iron now from Prime64. <laughs> How much is it? Can you check? If there's, if there's any info about it at all. I mean, I'm gonna review it, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I wrote more stupid stuff than that. By the way, working with hot material on cardboard. Just yes. saying. Yes, that's why I have a metal plate here to put stuff on. It's fine. But it is not. There's no problems here. No. My Game Boy emulator still work on this thing? Uh, so it's now definitely glued into place. I don't know if it's conducting it. <laughs> We're gonna find ah. out. If if that's not gonna work, then we will put the original. Uh, yeah, then we will put the original uh, speaker back in and, and move on. Oh, this is how I broke the chip the last time. Hang on, I really sorry. The stream will not be able to see what I'm doing because I have to switch hands. Last time I tried this with the non-dominant hand, I broke stuff. <laughs> I do learn from my mistakes sometimes. If they cost ten bucks a piece. <laughs> Actually, um, pa um, the, the Retro Six guys apparently watched the last stream and they're like, "Hey, we noticed you missed a three D printed bracket for the for the display," and they put it into oh, nice. my order. Yeah, I was just ordering the order stream. Yeah, they threw it in. Yeah, but that's already. I'm actually really happy with how I placed the the, the new LCD screen in there, so I don't even need that anymore. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. And it's not something like that. It would be worth to like give away. <laughs> But maybe there are more projects coming down the line. Who knows? So maybe. Maybe. You've got a bunch of Game Boys now. Well, I do. Yeah, <laughs> I could do stuff <laughs> with them. I probably should, but I probably just end up if this thing is over, just uh, give up, give them all to you. <laughs> uh, we could do the fake boy. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> it's got it a better sound. Than the Game Boy. Well. That's not that hard. Yeah. So. Oh, that game is broken. <laughs> Which ROM doesn't crash the Game Boy? Oh. Um. It's this one. Okay, okay. I, that is much yeah. more appropriate to be in the background. 
Uh, you can't really tell on the live stream. Also because of compression. What is it? It's uh, Emerald. Oh, okay. <coughs> so. Okay. I highly doubt that it's gonna work, but let's try. <laughs> At least now I know where the sorting points go to. <laughs> After doing this four times. Okay. Hmm. Actually, I have to cut that wire a little bit. Ah, I can get to it. Shit. <laughs> I have to remember to check again. One sec. So, just to confirm, the second short wire goes to five, correct? Oh, one of them goes to five, actually. Let's see. Yes. Okay. Just one. Uh, just closest one to the speaker goes to pad four. Correct. The other one, the the last second cable. closest. Yes. Goes to the top speaker. Yes. Third the other one goes to goes S1 to add, ground. S1. Yes. Last one goes to pad 5. Pad 5, okay. Thank you. You should be able to write on the cardboard with the soldering iron, kind of like an art project. Let, let me guess. Uh, who said it in the chat? Or was it your idea? No, that was chat. Wow. Oh, no, it was slow. Okay, I totally thought it was Pierre. <laughs> Where did I... Oh. <laughs> Found it. Okay. This darn controller. Are there like the common issues is with it? I can't it? see what's broken. Yeah, that's, that's what I was asking. Are there like common issues with that that you like can isolate? So you at least know what's going on there? No, it's just the... There was corrosion on the board, so it's very likely oh. that there's a trace eaten away that I just can't see. Yeah. That'd be really unfortunate. There aren't any complete schematics, so I can't really test it either. Where did we find the schematics for the GBA again? Was some Portuguese? I just found website? them on the internet. It was some, yeah, yeah Portuguese um, repair manual for them. Oh, okay. <laughs> Which is really nice. But it was also like the only one available, <laughs> so I have no idea if that's actually mm -hmm. any. Well, it it looked com. Oh, I broke one. I broke. Something. It looked official. Yeah. I should make sure there's actually three volts across the board. <laughs> That's probably a good idea. When I have batteries in. Have you turned it on? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Let's not do there's that again. There's just no battery contact. Yeah. myself again. Not too bad this time. Really? Yep. Oh, I didn't really burn it. Touched one part that's already hot, but not as hot as the tip there. So... I think you need some insurance for this. I have. <laughs> 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 but back when we, when we decided to become a company, I, I've got all kinds of weird insurances. That's, that's great. Okay, it's on there now. And I predict that it's not gonna work because I don't think the uh, connector to the to the speaker actually is connecting <laughs> at the moment. It's just hot glued in there. Okay, there are batteries in. Let's turn off the music and let's find out. Um, okay. Yeah, no, there was nothing. <laughs> 
darn. Oh, um, HR, hmm, okay. Let's do this with the Game Boys on, why not? Can't break any more than I already did. It looks really good, though. That screen is really nice. It is, it is. Um, okay, I think that's back on. Um, Why is there only one yeah, point no. across that? No, 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 no. Um, yeah. I think I broke yet another audio chip. Wow. Oh. So, for now, we are... Mm, we should still just stick the, the original speaker back in, right? Because that one's... The, the the other one on the on the uh, without the board is just way quieter. Right. Okay, let's do that then. Put the original back in. Yeah. Oh well. Hang on. Aha! Hmm? There are 2.8 volts across the batteries in this thing. But when I look on the terminals where the batteries go into, it's only 1.1 volts. Okay. 1.3 volts. Which means that I might just have a cold solder joint. Yep. Or some other unlikely situation which would be very very good no that's on a dropper <laughs> oh so you can't catch it or do you have to remove some bunch so some stuff to get to it okay so the battery this thing runs on one point this thing only runs on like one bolt <laughs> <laughs> okay interesting Let's cross the capacitor, 1.1 volts. That makes sense. Okay. No, the Game Boy Advance cannot run Firefox. However, the Nintendo DS can run uh, Safari. In case you need any uh, useless knowledge, Valorian. I kind of want to get one. <laughs> so, the Nintendo DS had a cartridge. Hang on. Like the DS oh. Lite. Yeah. Hush. <laughs> Did your cat join us? We, ha we haven't had any cat on the stream no, just today. No, the... I also take the dog. The multimeter keeps beeping. Oh, okay. Okay. So it had a cartridge that went in slot one. That was the actual Safari binary. <laughs> and then it had a memory oh. expansion that went in slot two. It's bringing up to 32 megabytes of RAM. It's almost usable. <laughs> it wasn't much. Who did that? Nintendo. It was an official oh, was Nintendo it? thing. Oh, I did not know that. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's check if this is correct. Florian, in order to do that, if you do have the DS, you need the memory expansion. Otherwise, it just won't run. That sounds about hey. right. Yep. We got the same sound that we had before. Yay. <laughs> okay, let's finally assemble this then. Um, I have to not drop the soldering iron with this. There we go. Okay. Uh, I, I hate it that I, broke it that I broke another audio chip. It might not be broken, but you will need to get all that hot milk glue. Yes, off. yes, definitely. And. Um, I'm not gonna do this on Steam. Maybe I'm, we are gonna revisit this project someday, but no. for now, yeah, we probably won't. <laughs> okay. We can check it out another time. Yep. The. Uh oh. Hang on. I have to check if I broke the soldering point there. Yeah. I don't yeah. know. Um, it looks weird. Oh. Um. Why you no work? <laughs> nope, this is fine. Nice. 
Imagine the cat in the burning house. No, it was a dog, right? Yeah, it's a dog. From the This Is Fine meme. No, <laughs> this is fine. Yeah. Okay. No All right. Um, so we cleaned the board. We have got the the other shell. Now we have to add the buttons. Where? It, oh, they're already on there. Um, should probably have connected the screen before that. Uh. So, any plans on modding your GameCube? Oh, you know, you don't even have one, right? You, you. Well, I have. Uh, Let me guess, a Wii's. broken one. Okay. No, I have Wii's. Okay. That's good enough. Okay, this is fine. I should probably add the sticker to because there's no chip supporting it now. I should glue the speaker this time. I or volts <laughs> from where? I was still on the remote. How would four volts get on this board? What is wrong with my Nintendo <laughs> controller? That's your problem. I don't know if it's just the meter being weird or what is the problem. <sighs> Turn it off and on again. Everything's fine. <sighs> Shit. I'm not having any luck with Sorry, Retro 6. Take it slow. No, that's it's 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 fine. It, but most of the stuff that's supposed to glue into place is not gluing anymore. <laughs> it's, it's it's not sticking anymore. Uh, got like a really old batch of of their stickers. Okay, um, so let's put that back on. Right. Um, oh yeah. Let's not forget the one that's supposed to. Uh, shine the LED through. Do you have a light pipe for that? Yep. Got it here. Yeah. Right there. Okay. Uh, yeah. Snap it into the front. Yeah, uh, that's what I'm trying, but it's n it's coming out. Um, that's gonna be tricky. Uh, okay, let's let's add the other parts first. Where's the other... Uh-oh. Somewhere on this desk are parts that I'm looking for. Hmm. You said he started with a Commodore 64 and switched to a Commodore 128. And after that got a 386 with 32 megabytes of RAM. So the Nintendo DS, with the RAM expansion, was on the level of his 386. <laughs> Who says that? Pierre. Oh. Um, yeah, I'm missing a part here. Uh oh. Yep. I'm sure I put it, put it on the desk sometime before the stream. Let's just check the box. No, it's here. Why did I put it? Okay, anyway, I found it. Okay. That's under a volt. That doesn't seem right. I think something's wrong with the voltage regulation on this remote. Yeah, 0.8 volts between those doesn't seem right at all. I don't want to take apart a working Wiimote to see <laughs> to if check. that's what the problem is. Um. No. Oh. But I could. You could just purchase a working one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, you know what, Marius? Yeah, I know. No. That's a good idea. <laughs> Will I take your advice? No. No. Okay. <laughs> I think I got everything I need. That's the power button, the side brackets, shoulder buttons. Okay, let's try this. Eh. 
hate blocking me out somewhere. Uh, I guess I first have to glue in the speaker. Yeah, okay. Everything has to come out of it. Okay. Mm. Okay, speaker is in place now. I'm really sorry, this is not gonna be easy to show on the stream. That's not gonna work, so. Okay. Um, shit, speaker came out again. Uh, I hate it. It's probably a good thing that it actually doesn't stick into place. Well, I kind of need it to stick into place right now. That's an issue. Ah, uh, and it's out again. Ah, uh, this is gonna suck. Can you flip it so that the face yeah, is down? Yeah, that's what I'm trying next. You're that's setting the items yeah. into it? Might be the only way I'm gonna be able to add the, the, the light pipe. Okay, power button. Just to get back in there. Eh, I cannot. Okay. Let's put in what we have right now. Okay. Something is... Oh, yeah. The light pipe is not in the right position. How is it? Wait. Is it? No. Something is... There shouldn't be anything there that should... Something the batteries is don't look like they're in. You got all the buttons out, okay. That's Yeah, that's that's fine, but... Um, I wonder what's blocking there. I can't really tell. Um, let's see if this thing goes in without a speaker. Um, no, it's not a speaker. Okay. What else could it be? Something up there is blocking what I'm doing. Oh. It doesn't go all the way back together, yeah. that's why you have the side No, no, no. Bumpers. Yeah, but it's supposed to, but the shell isn't even closing. Oh. So, uh, can you tell how it, how the one of the shoulder buttons it goes in perfectly and is completely out of focus? One sec. Uh, there, mm -hmm. and the other one doesn't. Is it just, it's the is light there pipe. something that's supposed to it's slide in on the it's back? It's the light pipe, I guess. Um, no, not button? under there, but the light pipe is definitely blocking something here. Okay. Which is, oh, <laughs> yeah, because it's not in the right place. It sits in the different way? Yes. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> speakers in. Yep, I wish I would have done this other way around, but it's fine. Um, right, but now I can add the power button without disassembling it. Um, okay. We should be good to go. Um, let's add the... Uh, oh. Hmm. That's not gonna stick there, I think. Or maybe it will. And you can add the shoulder buttons when the, cl when the shell is closed already, and that's mm, the easier way to add them. Because last time we tried this, okay. um, every time I tried to... Uh, this is... Okay, this is good enough. Yeah. Um, last time I tried uh, to do this while the console was still open, um, <laughs> every time I added one, the other came out. <laughs> and uh, there are also like this, uh -huh. this, this rubber points on, on, on top of the shoulder buttons that they, they come out very easily. Oh. Yeah, that sucks. Oh, wait, hang on. Is that the right one? Um, I think I did it like that. Uh oh. No, that's fine. Okay. Uh, 
you really can tell that Nintendo didn't want you guys to, or that Nintendo didn't want us to take the consoles apart. No, and especially not to replace things. Yeah. At the same time, though, you can tell that they did design them for their factories to get them back together like yeah. you expect. And they have some really long-lasting parts. Like, Shit. the like Wii Remote remote. I took apart. And it's difficult to see there it focused. But the Wii Remote buttons are actually double-shot ABS. Oh, that's nice. So the... Um, the different colored sections are actually a different color of plastic that's been shot into the shell. So they won't fade. Yeah, that, that's not well enough. That's great. That well. So... Okay. This is fine. Um, the shoulder buttons won't stay in. Yeah, okay, that works. Uh, power button. Eh, I just came out again. <laughs> you probably heard that. Uh, because there's like a spring on it, it's really hard to, to put it in place before you can add the upper shell. Mm -hmm. There's no way for me to show this on camera correctly. Um, okay, first button is in. Uh, Right shoulder button is kind of there. No. Hang on. What's going on there? It's sorta in. Yeah. Okay, that's good enough. Oh, because the board came out a bit. Okay, like that. There we go with the power button. Okay. <laughs> Let's hope this works this time. <laughs> nope. Something's blocking. Um. There we go. Um, yep. Cool. Yep. All buttons feel alright. Um, not because I want to, but because I m forgot to prepare the other screws. We're adding the original screws to the new casing. Mm -hmm. uh, let's figure out where I put them and change them later. I only like add two screws and then we will check if this thing actually turns on. Mm -hmm. um, and if it won't, then we probably end the stream. <laughs> oh, Pierre, what, what Game Boy? Oh, what did which you say? Game Boy do you have? Read the chat. What, what, uh, what's going on there? You inspired me. I went through an old box and found my Game Boy. I plugged it into power and it came right on. Which Ooh. one, though? Oh no, I have to find the yeah, other screws. Yeah, they're built to last, but depending on which one you have, you can do some pretty cool stuff. Yeah. Um, I have to find the other screws because the new ones are, uh, the, the old ones are longer. Um, got it in I'm the early 90s, so it's probably the original DMG. Oh, we got sound, we got image. Okay, fine. That works. Nice. Okay, uh, and now I have to find the other screws. <laughs> Is it this style, Pierre? It's like the big one, the old one. This big boy? Yeah. <laughs> big blue. <laughs> Big blue? <laughs> no. <laughs> It'd be uh, probably the white version, unless you yeah. have the Play It Loud series, which is actually worth some money. You might not want to mod that one. <laughs> no, you won't. Um. If it isn't just the standard beige one, then don't mod it. No. But if it is, then uh, there's oh, a I whole world screws. of things for there you. There we go. I found some screws that should work. You found several screws. Yes. The big old one. Yeah, that's this one. I mean, we could still so hold that one. <laughs> you can get yourself a backlit screen for it. Oh, I found the other yeah. screws. <laughs> They're still attached nice. to the to the speaker. Uh, yeah. Okay. What else is going on in the chat right now? 
That's about it. Okay. So, uh, that's the Philips side one. Nope. Nope. That one. Yep, that's better. Ooh. I mean, the, there Something. are different mods for these, like you can put in TFT or IPS screens in them, but it doesn't really make sense for the oldest one. Um, in order to do that mod, you actually need to open up the LCD screen, and you need to take a knife and scratch off yeah. the um, the reflector and polarizer on the back of the LCD, which is... Um, I saw that. <laughs> and he's done. Adhered, adhered on. So, it's a little dicey, but it's a lot of fun actually. I would be too afraid to break stuff. You can do the same thing with the Game Boy Pocket. It's just way smaller and more difficult. Yeah. So, I didn't do it to this one yet. Oh. I did it to another one, and I broke that one. Are there supposed to... Is there supposed to be a gap there, or... Do you know from the... Oh wait, I actually can check from the one... Oh yeah, okay. The original one also has the gap. At least that's fine then. So, what else could you do to, the, to this Game Boy? We, had, we have the display mod, we have the battery mod, we have the audio mod, except we broke it, but... Uh, oh, I did. Um, <laughs> what the else could advance? you do with this? Hmm? Um... Is there anything you left? You can swap out the buttons and give it different colored buttons and stuff. Well, I did that, but I also haven't. And I uh, added new pads. So, that okay. it feels nicer. Because the, the old ones were, like, worn out already. Uh, that's about the extent of the Advance. But the nice thing about the Advance is it can play all the Game Boy games all the way back to 1989. Yes. It's got the whole catalog available to it. Including... And you really need to get yourself a copy of this. Which one? Pokemon Pinball. Oh no. <laughs> I never the tried only that reason one. you need to get a copy of this is because it has a rumble motor on it. And oh, that is just no, the most ridiculous no. thing I know. <laughs> yes. Oh no. How loud is it? And it's actually a really big rumble motor too. How loud is it? Turn it's it on. I'll take this apart. Yeah. No, uh, no, no, turn don't, don't turn yeah. it apart. Turn it on. Oh, there it goes. I need to move my pop filter out of the way. Hang on, let, let me let me turn off the music. Um, yep. It's pretty loud. Oh, not yet. Okay. <laughs> is it not coming through? It can't. Oh, it now it monitor. is. Now it is. Like, like, yeah, like. Um, it hold it, hold it to the to the microphone. It like. is. No, we, we uh, like the vibration, not just in front of it. Um. It's a fairly large rumble motor. Oh yeah, yeah, that was better. <laughs> okay. I think all the screws are in. Um. Okay, are you ready? Okay, very gently put the pop filter back. Perfect. Oh. Nope, not perfect. Oh, I hate this thing. Jordan, are you ready for this? Yes. Let's get it working. Yep. The parts that I didn't break. It didn't break, it's fine. Okay. All right. Uh-huh. Oh, I forgot to put uh -huh. the power button on. No, I didn't. Um. Ooh. 
Wow. That's a very nice it's pretty game. Loud. That's a very nice game. Let me check if all the buttons are working. A, B are working. Up, down are working. Left, right. Uh, start, select. Which one was it? That Oh yeah, no. Which one? Uh, you could LR, present. start and select. LR, start, select. Very race. Hmm. That's not doing anything. I think. Hmm. Uh, that's Sapphire, so it doesn't... It might not send mm -hmm. you to the erase game screen because it doesn't have a game saved. Okay. No game. Okay, this will take a while, but we'll figure it out. Um, okay. Um, if you, do you have an older game? Because yes, yes, I do. Um, maybe, no. A, B, start, and select is reset. Never mind. A, B, start, okay. Hang on, that should yeah, work no. from here. That doesn't test the shoulders. But it also doesn't reset. The, the problem is, Sapphire doesn't oh, even okay. use the shoulder. Okay, part. start, select are definitely working because reset is working. Um, all oh, right, you could resize, like, if you if you put an old game in there, and then you could resize, like, uh, the. You can remote. do that. Yes, I yeah. can. Yeah. Um, All uh, the ones Florian, that the replacement parts are not licensed. No. Um, all the ones that, that came with the various GBAs that I bought for this project. Um, which one should we use? Um, oh, Fortress Toy of Story? Fear. Toy Story sounds Toy right. Story 2. I have no idea what this is. Elden. <laughs> okay, let's, let's use Toy Story 2 then. Uh, do we want it with sound? Yeah. Let's turn off the music. Okay. Here's the inside of Pokemon Pinball. Oh, I see the motor. <laughs> That's awesome. So yeah. Pretty darn big rumble motor. Yeah. It won't focus. I can't make it focus anymore. It's it's done with that for today. No. It's had enough. Okay, done. Uh, let's turn this on. Yeah, look at this. Yeah. Okay. I... I think we finally got this. Um, Don, thank you very much for your help and making sure that I don't break yet another game GB Advance board. Um, if you need some, or if you need broken boards, um, I've got quite a few of them by now. So uh, make sure to drop me a message on Telegram or Twitter and I put them in the mail. Or I will probably just give them to Don when I see him next time. All right. Um, I think we're done here. Is there anything in the chat that we should probably get to before we get off here? Um, no. I think we got it. But no, Florian, none of these parts are uh, licensed. Um, oh, shit. We forgot the most important part. Sorry, we, we can't add the stream yet, just yet. One sec. Okay. Um, and I think the camera setting is fine for that. Yeah. Um, and I need to find it. One second. Um, you could put the original oh, side by side with it to show how great it is. Uh, we'll do it in a second, but we need to add this first. Oh. A replica sk sk sticker. Touch yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, they also saved me another one of these. I think they know that I'm probably gonna mess up, mess this up. Um, this the nice thing with unbought. handheld legend and retro six is yeah. if you buy a replacement case from them, they do give them you the sticker. Yes, they do. Uh, I also got like the retro six one, but this is like the the uh, the, the replica GBA one, um, which also nice. says. Um, AGB001. So, okay. Um, this is probably what I'm doing. Oh, all right. Um, we should probably show that there's like the, the, the clean power amp uh, mod there. No, it's not the amp. It's the, it's the power mod. Um, so you can charge your game mode once we are USB Type-C. Mm -hmm. And then there's a new um, add-on to that, which unfortunately you don't have, but it actually connects to the low battery sensor. Yes, and then this one, if, so it, it, if it goes low on battery, you get the red one, yeah. Yeah, that one, it just dies. Yeah. It runs out of battery. <laughs> but uh, I think that the, the standby time on this is like 18... Uh, uh, not the sorry, they don't have standby time. Um, the power on time on these are like 18 hours by, by full display brightness. I think I'm probably going to plug oh, yeah, it in before that. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. Um, all right. Uh, we want to... Uh, no, I only have the nasty, nasty one. Um, that's that battery. I have no yeah. idea if this one is actually working. Oh, good. Look at it. <laughs> this one is oh. awful. Mm. Um, like, that's the kind of thing that you refurb and feel really good about, though. Um, 
I don't know if there's much to refer. Look at the buttons. This one is done. That'll come right off. Yeah, well, I'm not gonna touch it. Um, okay. <laughs> Hang on, let, let, let's check if there's, if this is actually a louder or quieter. Well, wait, no, we did, we did add the stock one back, so that's fine. Should be the same. Yeah, it should be the same. We can try. Oh, it's such a huge difference. <laughs> With both of them on, yeah. Okay. Um, the display screen brightness says it all. There are nicer buttons on the. Oh, I'm not gonna touch that. This one is going away. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's wow. Um, all right. Um, I think you have to excuse me. I have important games to attend to for the night. And um, Dalton, thank you very much for joining me. Thank you very much uh, to the chat. And we will so hopefully uh, we will see you back on the channel if you do like some similar project like this again. Yeah, that'd be cool. All right. Then take care, everyone. Goodbye. Say goodbye, Dalton. No? Are you not saying goodbye? Oh, bye. <laughs> See ya, <you>, thanks. <laughs>